Tune to this. <laughs> Five things to sound like Georgie Porgy put in pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. Um, one of them is vibratoing chords, whether it be power chords. Easy. First finger on an E here at the seventh fret A string. I use a pinky here at the D9. Two stringers. And that's just, uh, you know, A and D at seven to five. Well, I think all you do is just going from. Instead of playing the whole power chord, just doing the top part got the bass player handling the low bits, so you're laughing. Should at least be able to do that. I'm tipping he did that because he was the only guitar player in the band, and it just added more flavor to his, you know, instead of just going, um... Pretty uh, boring. And you can also kind of slightly get a little bit, little bit of a quarter pinch harmonic vibe on there as well. Now, if you're going to be playing Lynch songs, you got to use the Lynch vibrato. Uh, I'll put all kinds of additional uh, videos down below that explain the vibrato. Basically, it's, you know, big and wide. Just wide, wide vibrato. Just think wide. One note. I don't know, take something slow like... Uh, Kind of a vibe. As long as you get like a consistency, no matter whether you're down here, There's an attitude in the vibrato, and it's a definitive Lynch. And you can't play Lynch without getting the vibrato, otherwise you sound like Kirk Hammett playing Lynch. Do you want that? No offense to you, Kirk, but if we're playing Lynch, we should probably get the, you know. That's all. Number three, I'm gonna call it the Lynch Dorian box. So that's actually the lower half of the Eddie Van Halen box. So if you're in E, the Eddie Van Halen box is this um, 9, 12, 15. But we're using the lower half of the box. And this is the, uh, that's the Dorian vibe over E. 
and there's tricks to this. So you can hit this G sharp note here. Or you can hit it here. B string 9. You can even get this like... If you want to get really lynchy, you can always take your pick, tap with the pick. That's lynch to the bone. I hear him do this on the um, the lynch mob outtakes in the studio. He does it in D. And then he does it in E. And it's, I hear it twice in one solo. I'm gonna call this the pentatonic link. So if you're playing an A minor pentatonic here at the eight and five area on the B and high E. Try this. Eight, five hammer ons and pull offs. Go to uh, five seven. You want to get your B string in there, so so it's up, hammer, pull off, down, and that's a down on the B string eight. Not only can you use it from high E to B, you can use it from B to G. You can even do two downs. Down, hammer on, pull off, down, 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 down. Now it only works if the if this is an A Dorian. The Lynch pentatonic lick in E. I've said in the past on other videos. That's major or minor. 12, 14, 15, minor. 12, uh, 15, 16, major. Mix them up. You wanna get, if you wanna get this in, which is pentatonic, If you don't like using your pinky so much, uh, change. Here's a good lynch lick I learned off that uh, lynch mob in the studio thing, outtakes. Uh, it's in the key of D, D minor pentatonic. So it's a uh, high E10 up, and you've got 13, 10 on the, the B, and then you've got uh, 13 on the high E, and you shake that. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down.
You don't like using your pinky? Make it a one three. This last little idea that's total Lynch, he's not afraid to start a phrase or end a phrase using the flat five. So if you're in the E, perfect example, when you have him comes down. Flat five. I think it was Guthrie Govan that said that uh, uh, ending ending a phrase on a flat five is always disgusting, and uh, it's funny because like George is happy to start a, a lick there or end it there. So if you're playing an A, if your flat five uh, is the eighth fret G, that like I showed you before, if you're in B, Be known as the living in lick. One last little lick. So you're doing this little. What is that? 8 to 12? You slide from 13 to 12? Quick. 7, 8. But instead of going E, D, E, go um, E, D flat. Which gives it a major vibe even though you're playing in minor. It's a little bit weird to the ear, but if you play it fast enough, by the time people can notice the dis dissonance, it's, it's over with, it's done. Minor, major. I call these George Fours. One, two, three, four. Do it knee. 9-12. Do it in A. And if you can vibrato that C note. I mean, he does that in um, To the Living End. And if you can try to get that C note to have a bit of pinch harmonic. Good on you, mate. Very last one. And when you're tapping like George, use your pick instead of your finger. See you soon.